Latest in campaign 2022. Today, of course, is primary day here in Connecticut, a big day. There are some key statewide races on the ballot, including a U.S. Senate seat. There are three Republicans vying to take on Senator Richard Blumenthal coming up in November. Channel 3 chief political reporter Susan Raff is live right now at a polling place. She has more details for us on what turnout has been like. Susan. Mark, it is primary day, but unfortunately, like many primary days, voter turnout is light. And that's simply for the fact that Connecticut primaries are during the summer. A lot of people are on vacation, taking time off. And there are people who may not even know that there is a primary today. But as you highlighted, there are some important races. And perhaps the race for U.S. Senate could generate a little more interest. In just a couple of hours, Connecticut's primary will be over. And when the results are in, the field of candidates going on to November will be smaller. Themis Claritus is one of three Republicans for U.S. Senate. She's a moderate who faces two conservative opponents. We must win unaffiliated voters to win a statewide election in Connecticut as a Republican. And I'm the only one that has, has been elected by unaffiliated voters throughout the state. Claritus, the former House Minority Leader, faces a tough challenge from Leora Levy a Greenwich businesswoman who has waged an aggressive campaign and who just last week got the endorsement from former President Trump. This is what Levy had to say after getting a phone call from Trump. Well, I feel that it, it makes me the leader in the race. Peter Lamage is taking his second shot at U.S. Senate. He's anti-abortion and pro-Second Amendment. During a recent debate, he called Claritas a socialist. Lamage, who was born in communist Albania, says the country is headed in the wrong direction, and he feels voters want to change. This is what he said during a recent debate. At least you know what you get on me, a true conservative, and we know what you get on Themis, and uh, primary voters have a clear choice between Themis and I. Now, the polls will close at 8 o'clock tonight. That's less than two hours from now. And voter turnout usually is only about 15 to 20 percent, which means we should get results sometime sooner than later. We are live in Fairfield, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.